I am Dr. Chirag Shah, hematologist and oncologist practicing in Ahmedabad, state of Gujarat, India. I work mainly at Sham Clinic and Apollo Hospital. Today we will talk about what to do once a cancer is diagnosed. Cancer, as many of you would know, is an uncontrolled proliferation of cells resulting in a growth of tumor. The tumor can be benign or malignant. Malignant tumor have the risk of spreading to the other parts of the body and also invading the nearby organs and that is why cancer is considered a much more risky disease. There are over 250 different types of cancer. People ask me whether cancer is hereditary. Only about 5 to 10 percent of cancers are hereditary. Majority are related to acquired risk factors. Sometimes we see that cancers are running in the family. That does not mean that they are all hereditary because some of it may be due to same lifestyle or certain habits. For example, use of tobacco. One should not compare cancer diagnosis of one patient with another because as we have discussed, there are 250 plus types of cancer and there are many different stages and different patients have different characteristics. There are four main types of cancers, carcinomas, blood cancers, sarcoma and germ cell tumors. The cancers are treated mainly by operation, radiation therapy and medicines such as chemotherapy. Additionally now there are treatments like bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant, CAR T cell etc. Surgery of cancers is more complex than a regular surgery because the cancer cells can spread to the nearby organs. That is why a larger surgery is required. This makes it more difficult. But now there is better planning, better techniques, better reconstruction techniques. All that has led to surgeries being done more easily and with better results. And with supportive care improvement, even much older and sicker patients are now able to undergo surgery. Radiation oncology similarly has seen marked improvement in the technique and the machines. And with newer techniques like IMRT, IGRT, etc., the quality of radiotherapy has improved a lot and more doses can be given with more safety and hence better results. Medicines which include chemotherapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy, hormone therapy, etc. have also seen great strides and in last about 30 years there are now many many more medicines with marked improvement in results and quality of life both. Bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant is a treatment reserved generally for difficult cancers or cancers which have relapsed. This is mainly done for blood cancers of many different types. The basic concept is that you give very high dose of chemotherapy which overcomes the resistance of the cancer cells and then to recover the bone marrow you give stem cells which are already collected in advance either from the patient himself or herself or from a donor. One very important question is how urgent the treatment should start because most patients are very worried when a cancer is diagnosed and they feel that the treatment should start very quickly. But it is very important to understand that about three to four weeks of time can be very easily one can wait. And in the large majority of solid tumors, there is uh, no emergency. 
you may know that in the countries like US and Europe where there are multiple steps uh, it takes uh, time to get appointments and insurance approvals etc and still they have very good results so three to four weeks of time can be easily taken in most cancers except some blood cancers such as acute leukemias. So why this time is to be taken? Very importantly for planning. So if you don't plan properly then results cannot be good. When we plan a house for example, we don't just take the land and start working on making a house. We initially create an architectural plan, we understand our finances, uh, we find experts, so many steps we do. Similarly, in the planning of cancer treatment, there are many steps. The first important step is biopsy. Many times patients ask that based on the CT scan, you think that this is a cancer and you are certain then why you need a biopsy? Why can't we start treatment right away? Biopsy is important first to confirm the diagnosis because once in a while, what looks like cancer may turn out to be something else. For example, a mass in the lung may turn out to be tuberculosis in some cases. Secondly, even if the cancer is confirmed with biopsy, there are many types of cancer and there the treatment is different. So for example, in lung cancer, small cell lung cancer and an adenocarcinoma lung cancer will have very different treatment planning and prognosis. Additionally, now we can do many more specialized tests from the tumor, which again help in the planning and prognosis. So for example, if the tumor of lung is positive for a test known as EGFR, then that patient can be treated with only one tablet per day. Same way in breast cancer, if the patient has ER or PR positive tumor, then hormone tablets are a very important part of treatment. But by looking at the tumor under microscope, there is no way to tell if this tumor is EGFR positive, ER positive, HER2 positive, etc. Additionally, in case of blood cancers, we do bone marrow biopsy or various blood tests and from there we can send many specialized tests like cytogenetics, flow cytometry, NGS panel, etc. And these again help us in creating a perfect roadmap for the treatment and for the prognosis. Then comes staging. So we have to know whether patient is in first stage or third, fourth, whatever is the stage. That is an important part of planning the treatment and that requires CT scan, sometimes a PET CT scan which is a very new test and we may need in some cases endoscopy or various other tests. Then comes deciding stage of whether this patient needs operation, radiation, chemotherapy, other medicines or a combination of these factors. There it is very important for the patient to meet at least two of the three experts. So surgeon, radiation oncologist and medical oncologist are three experts which mainly treat cancers. And at least any two of them one should meet to make sure that you have understood all the options. For example, in certain cancers, now operation has been replaced by the combination of radiation and chemotherapy. In some cancers, by giving chemotherapy before the surgery, we can improve the results of surgery. So all these factors one needs to take into account before starting the treatment.
in the best of the centers there is generally a system known as multidisciplinary tumor board wherein the patient does not have to go to all the specialists but the specialists themselves discuss all the factors of the uh, patient and then come up with a plan and then convey to the patient then comes the other factors in planning which include comorbidities for example if somebody has a heart problem then certain medicines cannot be given or if the heart problem is very bad then surgery may not be possible diabetes may also make changes in treatment then comes fitness so this is very important because a certain level of fitness is required for patient to be able to tolerate the treatment now some treatment can be tolerated by a very weak patient also for example some hormone therapy and targeted therapies but chemotherapy of different level may require a different level of fitness so somebody who comes in wheelchair for example may not be eligible for certain treatment but somebody who comes walking may be able to undergo the same treatment so even with the stage biopsy report everything being same the treatment may change based on the fitness then comes the patient's choice for example in breast cancer there are two main options of surgery removing the breast completely or partially we discuss with patients about the pros and cons of both options and then patients take a decision whether they want to go for what is known as breast conservation surgery or complete removal of breast and different patients have a different choice based on the various factors for example if you remove the breast completely in an early stage radiotherapy will not be required after the operation but if patient chooses to keep the breast then radiotherapy is mandatory after the operation then comes the understanding of cost the options uh, for the uh, support systems say for example if somebody is living far away or has limited social support then they may not choose to go for a very aggressive treatment and may choose a different option so as you can see planning of cancer treatment is very important and it is imperative that you don't just start cancer treatment right away many people are very scared and as soon as they get the diagnosis they get operated next day or they start some chemotherapy next day in the large majority of cases this kind of urgency is not required it is better you take one or two opinions meet at least two experts out of the three that we mentioned a specialist in chemotherapy and a surgeon or a radiation oncologist also you may now study some websites which are giving you very authentic information uh, you can take online opinion also from authentic uh, centers or doctors you can also take some time to see where you will get uh, less cost and better services Uh, find out who are the best doctors how many cases they have treated so in this manner by doing a proper planning you can get the best treatment and cancer can be cured this is very important so many many cancers now can be cured and a good planning is a first step towards curing a cancer thank you